A beautiful three bedrooms, two bathroom, all for under 415 or below. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Model Home Show with D, where strategy matters, passion rules. And today I am in Davenport Champions Gate area, showcasing the house behind me, which is a three bedrooms, two bathroom, all single story, two car garage, about 1,662 square foot in a brand new community right here by Champions Gate. The first thing you're going to notice is that you have this really nice long driveway. Now you have the cemented driveway, so there's not an option for pavers with this builder, but you have this really nice broad driveway so you can easily park another two cars here while you have another two cars there so as i go over here you have this little walkway now guys this is elevation g with this model they have three different elevations so depending upon which elevation you go with your front facade is always going to look different depending upon so you may not have a pillar or you may have a filler or you may not have the shutters or you may have the shutter so it really depends upon with this specific house the shutters are basically more static they're more for decoration than anything else so let's go inside and check the rest of this beautiful model out Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful builder model. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area, make sure to check out our channel, press that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. And if you are not sure where to be living, then check out our community living with D. That's where I bring you all the community videos. We talk about all the different suburban areas of Central Florida and Tampa. We talk about schools, hospitals, housing. Uh, we talk about pretty much everything that you need to know to make a decision if, hey, Davenport is going to be a good area compared to Lakeland, Dr. Phillips, Lake Nona, whatever that you are looking to do. So please make sure to check that out. So please press that thumbs up button and show us some love. And I am showcasing this beautiful three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,662 square foot, all single story. Now guys, this is a builder model, so it's going to have upgrades. So as you can see, the baseboard at the bottom is actually an upgrade. You see that little trim on top? That's actually an upgrade. Your six foot eight door is a standard. Your ceiling height is going to be eight foot. However, you do have an option to kind of increase that to nine four if that's what you want to do. Uh, they also have something called volume ceiling, which I'll show you in just a moment as I go inside the house. You have the two bedroom up front and a bathroom. Now guys, before I go into it, it's only about 1,662 square foot. And I say this all the time, don't worry about the square footage as much as it is about the flow of the house. The flow of the house is more important than the square footage because I have done homes that are like three, four, five thousand and there's a lot of dead space. So make sure that you're not so concentrated on the square footage. What you want to make sure is that as you walk in, the flow of the house is there. So as I walk in, uh, you have the very first bedroom up front, which is a really decent size. It's about 10 by 10 or by 10 by 11. If I can gauge the, the size correctly, you have this nice window bringing in a lot of light. And then you also have the small closet space over here. Nothing extraordinary, just pretty much similar. As you can see, the ceiling height is not 9.4, as I mentioned. However, you can do the ceiling height 9.4. You can also do eight foot doors if that's what you want to do. This is the very first bathroom, which is a shower tub combination. This is the standard with the builder. The base price of this house is about $378,000. The lot size is 45 by 125. So it's not 120, it's 125. So it's deep enough for you to build a pool. The lot price is anywhere from seven to 10,000, depending upon if it's a corner lot or if you're facing the community pond or if you are at a cloudy sec. So that really depends. But this is pretty much the standard that you have with the builder. You have the overmount sink with the Formica over here. However, the upgrade is in terms of the tiles that you see over here and also in terms of the cabinet color. They have two different colors. One is a dark oak color and another one is a little lighter color. Uh, so those are the two options you get. And then as I go straight down, you have another bedroom, pretty much the similar size as you could see. Now guys, when you look at things like this, this is just a wallpaper. Don't get carried away. Make sure to check out my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home. With this builder, you can actually build 
custom. You can come in, you can pick up your lot, you can get all the structural options, and then you can go to the design center. However, they also have inventory home and you are going to get the best deal with the inventory home. So just keep those in mind. So if you're looking at the base price of 378, seven to ten thousand dollars and then another ten to twenty thousand in upgrades you could be well within four ten four fifteen for this beautiful house so that is something you could do uh, don't quote me on the prices because they always change but that is what it is now there is a cdd which is about hundred dollars a month and the hoa is about seventy seven dollars so cdd and hoa is both together about hundred and seventy seven dollars a month they are going to be building a pool a cabana a kids play area and some walking trail within the community it is not a gated community so just keep that in mind it does have a little closet what I like is that they have a door I, I'm like my personal preference is always a door rather than those sliding ones I can live with the sliding ones but what I don't really like is the one that has a split in the middle and then you open the door it kind of uh, kind of opens up this way and half of the time it kind of falls apart or the groove comes out so as I walk out you also have a little closet space right there so it's really well planned in terms of the uh, in terms of the space so you have this nice walkway and then you are going to have these recessed lights which is a standard feature as of right now a lot of builders are changing a lot of things so just keep those things in mind and then as i walk in look at this whole place that all opens up now this is the standard with the builder in terms of the 6040 sink this is the standard for mica but i did talk to the builder rep and what he told me is that for about three to four thousand you can change that to a granite however this is a 36 inch cabinet which is also an upgrade you are going to get 30 inch cabinet but for another three thousand dollars or i think 25 to three thousand dollar depending upon if you're doing 36 or 42 you can get those cabinet change this is pretty much standard this is what you get with the builder this kind of stove you also have the whirlpool silver apply uh, dishwasher right there you're not going to have the refrigerator washer or dryer so just keep that in mind but i like as i walk in the whole thing opens up you have you're at a little bit of an angle giving you a lot of space but you know what you have two different closets over here you have a closet right over here that you could use as a pantry if you like and you also have another closet space right over here that you can also use as a pantry so it gives you a lot of space you know you have that little cabinet right above your your refrigerator area and then the crown molding as you see over there is actually an upgrade and then this is where you have your washer and dryer or the laundry room not a very big space in terms of being able to have like a wash station so that is something you cannot do however you definitely can get the cabinets if that's what you want now this is a builder model so i can't go behind this door because it is a, a two-car garage and they're using this as a construction office so i can't go there but it's pretty much standard two-car garage and nothing exceptionally uh, different about that but this house is something that i want to point out if you look at the ceiling right over here they call it a volume ceiling and that's an upgrade for just about three thousand dollars where your eight foot ceiling is standard all throughout the house but if you get that option the ceiling over here kind of goes up to about nine three nine four kind of makes it look more bigger than it actually is but it just gives you a lot of space so just that is something that you can you can keep in mind now of course the tiles are upgraded the baseboards are upgraded this is just something the standard feature would be that you will have an electrical outlet right here an electric outlet right over there the size of your um, island over here you can see so it gives you a lot of space like you have this nice little semi-private dining area right there and it's kind of all open up this is a really nice star of home now guys let me address the market with you because the market is still it's not crazy hot because a lot of you know buyers and now we are kind of heading into the winter time and, and or the fall time which is usually slow for for a real estate but what's happening is that the builders especially the ones that has a lot of inventory home coming they are going to be willing to work with you in terms of giving you closing cost help or locking in your rate or or just working with you and maybe giving you some appliances or blinds so that is something that that is good so just keep those things in mind with this builder they're doing about twenty eight thousand dollars in flex money or they call it a flex money and what it basically means is that they can use that amount uh, that's what they will give you 
for either buying your interest rate down or, or uh, basically using that for closing costs. So there's so many ways that you could use that money to kind of see if this is something because the affordability has definitely gone up in terms of the price of the houses, in terms of the cost of the mortgage. So that is something to keep in mind. Now with this, you have this nice two windows, another window right over there, bringing in good light. You know, you have those extra lights right there. I always suggest if and when you could, you should do that. But here's what I want to mention to you. Now this is like a 10 by 15 patio area, which is actually an upgrade and it will cost you about $5,000. However, if you don't have that option, you wouldn't have this covered area. You will have a little pad like just to the size of your uh, these doors right here coming up there. So you will have a little slab and that's pretty much it. But this is a good extension to have. Most people do that in their inventory home. Most of the homes already have that built in and it's the end price. So they will say, hey, I have an inventory home, 1662 square foot. Actually, they have one at about 412 with all the upgrades and everything. And that is why I'm saying you can stay within the lower fours. It's in one of the good areas. You're not very far from a lot of things and you're practically right behind Disney. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that this is your lot size and it goes all the way actually towards that little depression that you see right there, just, just all the way till here. So you have a lot of room to build a pool and then still have some yard area uh, for your four-legged friend or, or whatever it is that you want. So it does have a very good space. And I always say this, guys, the flow and the space is more important than anything else. So as I go around, you have, or actually as I go on the sideways, you have your master bedroom and look at the size of this bedroom, guys. Like really nice. And with most builders, they always make sure that they make the owner suite really, really nice. Like I usually tend to stand in the corners to kind of give you an idea. I would have definitely preferred some extra lights. Now, when you do go to the design center with this specific builder, you know, their focus is more on building a house from scratch. However, with the way the market has been, the demand has been so high, and it was taking about three to four months just to get the permit. So they did made uh, some of the homes as, as the uh, inventory home. Now guys, whenever you are looking to buy a brand new home, one of the tips that I want to give you is that you want to start in a community that's just starting out. So like this is a community that's just starting out. You want to buy something in the beginning of that because by the time the builder is done finished with the community, the prices would have gone up because in a normal market, which we are kind of getting into somewhat, is that every six to seven sales, the prices were kind of increasing. In the market that we just came from, the prices were increasing every sale. And it's not so much so in regards to the greed, I would say, but it was more so also because the cost of labor, the cost of material, the logistics problem with everything that was happening, um, like if there was a window issue, a trestle issue, a wood issue, things were just getting crazy. So the prices went up, the interest rate was so low, the affordability was high. Now that the rates have started to go up, builders are a lot more willing to work with you. And, and in some cases you can make an offer and they would accept it or they'll meet you halfway or something, but they will do whatever they could, especially if it's an inventory home. Now guys, if you are looking, make sure to give us a call because our services to you is absolutely free. And when you give us a call, you'll be talking to somebody from my team. Their whole job is to get the information and connect you to the agent who's an expert in the area. We also do a Zoom call where we will show you the back area, show you everything. So when you do finally come down, everything is set for you. Everything is pretty much done. So you can decide, hey, you know, I looked at so like we will have the whole day planned. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start putting some of the testimonial videos that I've been collecting. When people come with us, we usually meet about 10, 1030 at my office. And then we spend the whole day, we show you the whole communities, all the area, but more so that fits your price range, that fits your budget, that fits your need, rather than showing you 50 homes and confusing you at the end of the day. I hope this all makes sense to you, but look at all the space you have over here. And then right around here, you have a really nice, nice walk-in closet, pretty good size, pretty comfortable at an angle. So you have a decent, so this is a really nice starter home. And then right over here, you have the 
bathroom, the master bathroom. Now this is standard in terms of what you see over here. So the Funmica is going to be there. The upgrade is in terms of the tile and also the cabinet color. Now you do have a couple of structural options in this master bathroom. You have an option to put a door to your water closet. You also have an option of, this is actually a, about $2,000 upgrade. Usually you're gonna have a shower tub combination, but if you wanna do a, a walk-in shower along with the tub, what's gonna happen is they'll have the tub in this side, and you're gonna lose this space or, or you're gonna lose this closet space and you're gonna have your walk-in shower over here or depending upon that way or this way, depending upon the angle. But that is what, that is something that could be done. So if you look at the cost of this house, 378, let's just say $10,000 on top of it for, um, so that's 388 and about another 20,000. So like about 418 or so you can really have a nice starter home to start with because the rents right now are also creeping up very high. I'm a very big proponent of you being able to buy a house yourself if you can, but at the end of the day, you want to make sure that the numbers work for you and it just makes sense because the way I look at it, you're going to still end up paying a mortgage. The only difference is, is it your mortgage or is it your landlord's mortgage? Because you know, one way or the other, you're paying for it I would hope that it would be your mortgage. So you're building your nest egg. Because remember guys, if if and when the rates go down, you can always refinance the, 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 the mortgage interest rate. You know, when the market was the way the market was, I some people had three or four or five percent, and when the when the Fed reduced their treasury rate to like zero and you could get a loan for like three percent most of my clients refinanced it and was able to lower the payment. You know, you want to be able to start at some point so that you can get out of the rat race of renting and, and not have something to call your own because you know our market is still has a very good healthy appreciation so that is something that I would definitely suggest. If you have any questions put that in the comment below. If you want to know hey what do I get for my base price put that in the comment below. I'll be happy to send you a link uh, or, or the, the PDF for what is standard for that price. I hope you get a lot of value from our videos. If you do press that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel until the next model. Thank you for watching and bye for now.